everyone, it's Catherine. I actually posted a night routine video where I called myself boring and I didn't think that you guys in the comments would call me boring but you guys agreed so you know what? I'm learning how to edit, I'm trying to do like these zoom effects where it's just like just to make things spice up because you guys are agreeing with me that I'm boring and there's nothing wrong with being boring I'll take that as a compliment for now but I kind of want to judge it up a little bit you know what I'm saying like a little bit of a oomph but today I'm going to be showing you guys the best scents to start your collection I did a video on tips on things I wish I knew before starting my collection but sometimes you want to go back to the basics and these are the best scents to have a starter kit I made sure to put a variety for everyone who you know might not like something gourmand but they like something fresh and clean these aren't my entirely favorite scents but i think these are a really great starter kit of just a couple of products that are really great and i did try my best to not have anything like limited time edition so a lot of these are more of like core collections but by the time if you see this video really early or if you're seeing this in june sorry today i'm doing my scent of the day because you guys have been requesting it all the time and sometimes i forget i'm wearing agave papaya sunset today literally smells like cotton candy my boyfriend was like um whoever sprayed that it smells like cotton candy i was like oh that's me this one's a really good scent the lotion has more of like a papaya scent while the spray has more of like that sweet sugary a little bit of a musky scent so that's what i have on today and then for my wax warmers for my wax friends and my wax fiends those two things, they're not toilet paper. I'm warming up Lavender Lemonade by Better Homes and Gardens. You can get this at Walmart. I have two cubes of this left. Literally smells like a delicious lemonade lavendery drink. It sounds impossible, but they made it possible. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with all of my scents that I'm going to recommend to you guys right now. So the first one I have here is for the people who aren't really into that super spraying scent. I'm curious as to what you are doing here, but if you want to start something small, something really quick and brisk, something you can wear at night, this is an amazing scent right here. This is Aromatherapy Sleep Black Chamomile. It has chamomile and bergamot oil, and there's just something so delicious about this scent that it's just not your average herbal, essential oily type of scent. This one has like this sweet-esque to it, which makes me fall in love with it every time I wear it to bed. It's delicious, but unfortunately, with this beautiful packaging, they discontinued this packaging. Do you see the astrology? Let me know what your sign is because... I want to know your sign and I have been addicted to horoscopes lately. I'm obsessed. Let me know what you guys think I am. But they have switched out their packaging to make it look a little bit more uniform with their aromatherapy products and this is the exact same scent. It's the Aromatherapy Sleep Chamomile and Bergamot. It just looks like this now. So if you are not really into strong scents, try this on before you go to bed. It makes you feel so calm and it just soothes your mind and body, okay? This one's a really great one. So these are for my peeps who are obsessed with just smelling fresh but they also want to smell like a floral you're just getting into bath and body works you're just getting into vs pink scents you're just getting into the whole body care hygiene world all right this is the most complete simple standard scent that you will try out and it is the one and only gingham i have to shout her out she is the everyday scent that you want to have when you are not in the mood to just smell like super musky or super sweet this is just like that middle line i am neutral i'm just going to be here and just smell bomb afs i've actually learned how to love gingham by itself this one is a really delicious very airy it's just so delicate but also makes a little bit of a statement because it isn't the most lightest scent if you have never tried gingham before and you are into your clean your florals definitely try this out you will not regret it set number three is a scent that is just like that classic standard bath and body works she's been here for a long time but she's still showing up because she's gotta make an appearance this is champagne toast this is bubbly champagne sparkly berries and juicy tangerine if you are a citrus type of girl you love your citrus you love those fruity scents this one has more of like an effervescent bubbly note into it the perfect scent to have in your collection and when you're just not really feeling going all out so you can just spray this up and it makes you feel like you are going out oh this smells so freaking good they have changed the scent notes to this before i think they had like black currant chambord to this before but nevertheless it's a delicious sweet simple scent but it can also be a little bit complex if you mix it with one of your delicious perfumes or if you want to do a little bit of a mixology and just you know you know what i'm gonna blend it up today 
this is such a nice scent and I think that everyone who is a collector with Bath & Body Works needs to have this in their collection. Going on with the little simple basic theme, you don't want to go too hardcore but you still want to smell cozy. It's still winter time by the time I am posting this because if you are going to watch this in the summer or spring, you probably wear this too. I feel like this is just a very year-round scent. This is Cozy Sugar by Victoria's Secret Pink. It's Oh my gosh, you guys, it's phenomenal. It's toasted marshmallow and vanilla. A lot of people have asked me the difference between vanilla swirl and this scent right here. There's just a delicious classic marshmallow scent that makes it just a little bit different than vanilla swirl. Vanilla swirl is just more of like that candy vanilla, like that I smell like a vanilla bean type of girl. But this one, this gives me Netflix and chill vibe. This gives me lounging vibes. Like I can literally wear this and just lounge and I'd smell bomb AF still because you know what? When you're wearing these scents, you're wearing it for yourself, okay? You're making a statement. You're gonna go simple. You're gonna go casual. This is one of those casual scents. I think this one is delicious and it's currently on sale right now at Bath & Body Works. This is a limited edition scent, so if you want this, go ahead, grab it. It's so good, especially for my vanilla lovers out there. I have been getting into vanilla recently and I am obsessed. Okay, okay, for all my gourmand lovers, for all of my sweet bakery foodie type of lovers who love their scents to smell like a snack, because you're going to smell like a snack when you have this scent on. This is from the new Bake Shop collection from Bath & Body Works, Raspberry Jam Donut. I had to mention her, I had to call her out because this is a delicious, sweet, Sweet, intoxicating scent. This is wild raspberry jam, powdered sugar, and warm fluffy donut. And let me tell you, if you want to smell like raspberry jam on top of that delicious donut, this is what you're gonna smell like. Spun sugar scent, almost like cotton candy-like. If some, if you were to spray this and no one knew what this scent was, they would probably guess it was cotton candy. But there's also just like that delicious slight tart of the raspberry, you guys. I am obsessed. I will say obsessed like 20 times in this video because it is that good. I love this scent. So gourmand, so edible. I wish I could eat it right now. For this next scent, this is for my bougie bisses, all right? This is for the people who want to make a bold, literally bold statement. I think this is a perfect scent to have. If this scent has actually grown on me, this is in the stars. Oh my God. I don't know people talk about into the night more but this one this is a gem okay this is starflower sandalwood musk sugar tangelo white agar wood and radiant amber this literally screams I know what I am doing vibes like you are confident you're bold you're walking into that bar and get one whiff of you and they're like oh you have money, even though you might not have money because you're a broke college student. The next scent that I have is actually a retired fragrance. I tried to make sure that I have some scents that are not just like completely like out of season, but this is gonna be kind of like following the seasons, all right? This is good for year round. This is a delicious coming of age scent that I think that if people who aren't really into scents like in the stars, which can be really harsh. This is Velvet Sugar. Legit the best scent ever, you guys. I have the scent notes right here, but I know that there is red velvet cream and some strawberries in it. This reminds me of Valentine's Day. Look at the packaging. Look at her. Um, fabulous. Yes, please. This is one of my favorite scents. I have worn this in my undergrad in college when I was going out and it gives me delicious sweet memories because not only is it like a really nice sweet fun scent, it also has brings you back into that like super like intoxicating scent. Like you'll be intoxicated if you wear this. This is a scent that you would like try out for the first time if you've never got into like super perfumey scents. This one's just like, okay, like a medium, like, okay, I'll get into the perfume scents and then you like upgrade to like in the stars. This one is actually a retired scent. So you can get this online or you can also go to an outlet and they always have their retired scents off. And it's a really good deal if you go to an outlet cause it's like $7, like, yes, please. $7 year round, I'm obsessed, yes. The next scent we have, I always have to call her name out because no one talks about her. So I'm gonna talk about her, it's my channel. We stand this delicious, sweet, airy it's not like the most gourmand scent but it is a little bit less of like velvet sugar so this one is pink velvet cupcake if you are a bubbly person if you are super sweet and you just want to be a little bit of bouge for one night but you don't want to go so hard like in the stars this is pink velvet cupcake that's sparkling red berries whipped pink marshmallow and sugared praline this is more of like a party scent for me. I think that you could wear this also on a dinner date if you're not really into like those harsh perfumey scents. 
definitely recommend and she's my bae because no one else talks about her so I'll just keep her to myself. I know we're in February but maybe along the line someone will watch this in August or in July and they just are not into these really light airy scents and they want something a little bit more fall like or they're just getting into that season of cold because it's still cold here but not really because yesterday was like 70 degrees but this one is sunset glow and i actually had a really hard time figuring out if i want to add this little scent into this little video just because a lot of people like it and a lot of people don't like it and let me tell you why this is fresh coconut sparkling cherry seltzer dreamy moonflower and caramelized vanilla now the first time i smelled this i got more of that cherry note but now I smell that coconut and I really like this coconut. It's a really delicious sweet scent but it also has a little bit of a musk like from that caramelized vanilla. This is going to be perfect for August, July. Honestly if you wanted to you could wear this right now but I'm a seasonal scent person even though I wore agave papaya sunset which is like a year-round scent but more focused on like summer, I don't know. If you either love cherries, if you love coconut, if you want something to like glow, okay? Like this is something like you would wear to like a drive-in movie, bomb, bang in, socially distancing, try it out guys. Definitely try it out. And it's in one of their core collections right now because I think this is gonna be like a signature scent now, so. And lastly, this is one of my favorite winter time scents. I just recently discovered this scent. I mean, I've only discovered Bath and Body Works like four months ago, so who are we even talking about? But you guys, the first time I smelled the scent, I didn't like it at all just because it was so perfumey, it was so strong. But then I learned to love it and I cherish her nowadays. I've been obsessed with this scent. This is Snowflakes in Cashmere. I ran out of the body spray because I used it up. So this is my second bottle of lotion from her. This is Vanilla Cashmere Cream Caramel woods and frosted clementine to die for if you love your nice cozy vanilla scents but you want to like change it up a bit like literally oh my god there's just something about that cashmere cream in this that just makes me go back to it it's so delicious so delightful honestly you could wear this year round i really don't associate cashmere into like really like cold months because you could wear this year round if you want to this is like the lightest version of a heavy scent that is imaginable was that even clear enough i think this is one of the best scents ever and i don't know why i used to hate it at first everyone always just kind of like Meh. i want the new stuff i want the new stuff during winter if you're watching this during the next end of winter um definitely try this out you will not regret it if you are into like those light perfumey scents but also vanilla cozy type of scents so good so delicious so bomb I will buy like 10 more bottles of this because it's amazing. So that was basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what you guys are wearing today because I am literally bathing in agave papaya sunset. I smell more of the papaya now that I'm spraying it in the air, but you guys, ugh, let me know down below what you're wearing. Let me know down below if you are a newbie like me, a freshman just graduating from her newbie status and what your staples are in your collection and what you have like backups of because i'm actually really interested if you guys have like backups of scents because i know a lot of youtubers they do they don't really have backups but i have backups because i think i should do a video of that like my all-time favorite scents that i have backups in that'd be a kind of weird title though but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i will talk to you guys later bye